What makes a holy grail? Is this something that somebody pursues for a long time? Is it something that can bring a value of unbelievable amounts? To me, it's beautiful art. Art that can only be created once. To me, this is my holy grail. And I'm going to share it with you today. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's the gas can as we do our countdown videos to Halloween, which is right around the corner. Um, this is freaking sick. This is actually my Candyman collection. And uh, really, truly, one of my holy grails that I possess. And as you can see, this is freaking sick. Um, I've got, and I have the privilege to own, the Ones Customs 1-6 Candyman. 101, the only one ever made by Ones, to my knowledge. And I had a... A CEO or, or a, uh, not a CEO, a, cert a certificate come in that said it was one of one. I bought this from Joe Biz 34 a big shout out to him. Very knowledgeable in the game. Experience has been around for a long, long time. And I was truly, happily surprised when I found out that he would sell this to me. So, let's get into the review. Um, uh very fortunate to have these figures never once never ever never ever take for granted for what I have and obviously this is the candy man which is in itself a highly sought off figure from Todd McFarlane men on card this was the first candy man that I had had the privilege to own and I honestly can't remember where I bought this I don't know if I ordered I think I might have ordered it I think at the time, and if anyone knows, let me know, but I think at the time, I'm 100% sure the figures you could buy directly from Todd McFarlane um, toys, and that's how I acquired this amongst many Todd McFarlane figures. Um, I will let you all know, too, um, that I do have an extensive, extensive with variants of each figure. McFarlane horror figures that I'm thinking about possibly selling. So if someone's seriously interested, hit me up. And I'm talking several figures. Um, a huge range of the Todd McFarlane figures that came out, that first came out. Uh, this is, of course, the One's Customs Candyman. Played by the um, incredible Tony Todd and uh, starred with Virginia Madsen. Just a sick movie. I just rewatched it for this review and it's on Peacock right now. If you have Peacock, you can watch it, the original Candyman. And I forgot how good a movie this movie was, was done. Obviously based on Clive Barker's Forbidden uh, short story, um, and, um, just, just sick, this is sick, um, One's Customs, killed it on this job, uh, poured his heart and soul into this piece, and like I say, I would, I never thought in a million years I would have owned this, and I had already told myself, I'm not going to get any other Candyman's. Uh, unless I could get this, and I just was really shocked that, um, and and happily surprised when when Joe Biz thirty four allowed me to buy this from him, um, and just privileged and honored, 
and as you can see it's freaking sick and <laughs> once again my favorite which I wish I had more of these but just one's customs painted bases are sick and this will be a spoiler so as I talk a little bit about the movie um, obviously this was in one of the scenes when they kind of went into the lair of the candy man Virginia Madsen and her friend um, and doing some research on him. If you haven't seen this movie, please go see this movie. And I know they came out with the new one, I believe, directed by Jordan Peele, which I'm waiting for Nope, which will be soon on Peacock. I haven't seen that yet. But um, yeah, Jordan Peele, uh, I did see that Candyman, and it was very, very good. I'm not taking anything away from it, but the original is my favorite. And it's kind of rejuvenated me again to go back and watch the other candy mans that followed suit as it's been so long since i watched them i know they're not going to probably be as good as the first one the first one's always hard to beat but i will go back and revisit that um as i'm i am actually going to watch the original candy man again because it was it's just so good everything was just put together very well in that movie um, One's Custom. This review has been done on this figure by One's himself. Um, you can find it on his channel. Obviously, Joe's Big uh, Biz 34 did his own review of the, this Candyman. It's 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 awesome. Um, no one will top that review. But just the research on this figure alone. Uh, one's um, uh, stating himself, rolling out each bee individually and putting these in his mouth just like Todd uh, Tony Todd had in his mouth for real and there was no special effects on that and how that man did that is beyond me but to have this skull with the bees in it as you can see is insanely sick sick and this is why this artistry of the work that ones had done the the individually rolling these bees i would like to know from him exactly a guesstimate on how much time was put in this figure and the chest where the bees were placed in that's what is that a liver man just insane insane work by ones and i don't know if he'll ever revisit this figure again but if he does, and, and he does a run of it or or whatever, hop on that run because this is this is sick. This is a real, what do you say, steel, um, metal metal hook that he made that turns around. And I don't mess with this. I just this is the first time since I got it from Joe Biz. I pulled it out, and it's gonna gingerly go back right into the detoff. Um. But, you know, the coat, sick tailoring by Ones. I believe Ones did the coat. I'm 100% sure he did. I mean, just insane. It's like Tony Todd pulled, like, stepped out of the movie. Now, there is an alternate, alternate head sculpt. It's just a normal head that came with this. And I'd love to own it. But I don't know who has it. I, I, I think Joe Biz, I don't know if he sold it or what or if he just got it, didn't get it. But this is the head sculpt that I'm so happy that I have. Because this is, th this head sculpt right here represents one of the sickest scenes in the whole movie, in my opinion. And especially when Tony Todd pulls his coat away and shows Virginia Madsen his, his uh, chest of bees. Which, kudos to her. She had to endure a lot of bees as well. I mean, the whole scene was just absolutely sick. And I just, I love the, the, rom the in, in Candyman's mind, the romantic undertones of this and the horror. It's just a, 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 a sick blend of, of, of horror storytelling. And I just can't say enough about that movie. Um, I am going to revisit the other ones. I know they're not going to be as good, but I'm still going to check that out. Uh, Candyman from Distinctive Dummies. 
Shout out to Martin Cage and his crew. What can you say? Martin Cage, uh, Distinctive Dummies. I love the card art. This came out, I think this was like one of the first, and I'm going back because I bought this a long time ago. One of the first runs they did, which I have them all, of course, but this, this came out with uh, card art that was not, does not appear to be uh, done by an artist like Ron they're one of their top artists, in my opinion. My favorite, Ron Gearing. Um, this this was done uh, another way. I don't know if it was computer generated, but I just love the look of it. And I love the pop of the red. That's freaking sick. And I do love the artwork that Tom McFarlane had done for this candy man, too. The bluish kind of um, red on the right side. I love that art. I love how that looks. And if it sells, it'll be hard to give that one up, just for the record. But they're all going to go if I do sell them in a huge, huge set, the McFarland figures. Um, so I just, I love this, the, the coat, the, the Mego-ish, the Mego style, retro style of distinctive dummies. You know, I grew up with these 8-inch figures. I think that's why they're kind of near and dear to my heart. I uh, really grew up like, like I'm talking like, this will tell my age, by Woolsworth, uh, growing up with these and the Batman, and to see these in 8 inch form is, is just awesome to have that, and done right, and Distinctive Dummies does it right, so shout out to them, proud to have this in my collection, and I keep rethinking to myself I should not give any of these up, but I don't know. Um, other than that, that's, that's the end of the video. Um, this is a Holy Grail that I possess and, um, will tell anyone in a heartbeat. I'm so honored and to have this in my collection and this is a Holy Grail. Um, do I know what a, I guess a real Crescent Holy Grail is? Yes. And did I just not show you? At least one for sure, yes. Do I own more? Yes. Will they be shown later at a later date? Yes, when the time is right. My collection is very extensive. I've been collecting for a long, long time. So stick around and uh, check these videos out as we count down the videos to Halloween and beyond. And truthfully, it's Halloween here all the time, especially in my brain. <laughs> One last, one last look at this collection. Beautiful. I don't know what else to say. Don't forget, check out our mini comics coming out soon. I'm still working on it, still sketching it out. Uh, it'll be sick. And also support the channel. Uh, we got stuff on eBay, some sick horror figures selling. Make sure you check that out. Um, all proceeds will go to the benefit of the channel and help us as we continue to um, get these uh, sick figures and also present them to you. Um, stick around, a big Halloween one-time review uh, that has never been on YouTube, just like this video. With all this collection here at once, will be um, posted on Halloween night. Don't miss it. Gas can out. <laughs>